Hello everyone and welcome to morning coffee break. I hope everybody is doing good today. It is Thursday, August 22nd. I mean, August is almost gone. Good grief. But I am looking forward to fall and a little cooler weather. I mean, temperatures and stuff. Okay. Uh, currently it's 62 degrees. Hi, kitty. How are you doing? Uh, 62 degrees. High today is 79. Uh, 62 feels real good. <laughs> uh, chance of rain, 1%. Why bother? Uh, winds are at 2 mile per hour right now. Uh, today there'll be a taste test with Mike. Uh, I tried the Harvest Creek Buffalo style chicken, you know, in a pouch. Uh, and I'm going to have that video out today. Um, the people at Harvest Creek, that's the, you know, I tried one that I got from Dollar Tree that was chicken salad in, in the pouch. And um, the people at Harvest Creek saw my video and they sent me all four of their flavors. You know, one of them was the one I'd already tried, but they went ahead and sent me another one uh, of it. So, um, you know, and I thought I would go ahead and, you know, try them and, and tell you all what they're like. Um, you can find them at now at Dollar Tree. I don't know if they always if they carry all four flavors. And when we were there the other day, uh, the only one they had right then was the chicken salad one. Now they could have been out of the others, or maybe that's the only one they carry. But uh, I found out they're also at Dollar General's. So Dollar General may carry you know all four of them. I, I don't know. I haven't been to Dollar General for a little while. So uh, but next time I go, I'll look and, and see. <laughs> so anyway, yeah, check that out later today. Okay, um, dinner, I'm not really sure. I've been so busy. Uh, we all kind of have been busy. And uh, I've just been doing a lot of things around here and stuff. And uh, I'm not sure. <laughs> I'm not sure what's for dinner. Uh, we'll figure something out. Um, okay, uh, let's check out the jokes today glasses on so I can see them. A woman told a marriage counselor that her husband's complaint that he leads a dog's life is probably well founded. It makes me look, look, <laughs> the light from the tablet makes me look like a ghost. Uh, he comes in the house with muddy feet, she said, tracks across, across my clean floors, barks at nothing, growls at his food, and makes himself comfortable on my best furniture. <laughs> Uh, hmm. Okay, uh, here's another one. Uh, a man went to his doctor. When the doctor entered the examining room, the man cried, my, my hair is falling out. Can you give me something to keep it in? And uh, the doctor says, of course, said the doctor reassuringly. And he handed the man a small box. Will this be big enough? <laughs> uh, I got a bruise on my arm over here. I don't even remember hitting it. I guess I did, obviously. I get to doing stuff, especially outside, and I'll, I'll cut myself or hurt myself in some way, and for some reason I don't really pay any attention to it or something. And then I come in, and like the next morning or later on that day, I'll be like, wow, I've been bleeding over here. <laughs> so I better put a Band-Aid on it. Uh, so anyway, I got a bruise somehow. Uh, Okay, uh, the thought of the day is from Roy T. Bennett. It says the light in the heart. I'm not for sure what that is. Uh, it's uh, instead of worrying about what you cannot control, shift your energy to what you can create. I like that. I do. I like that. Okay, and I saw one that I thought would be interesting on trivia time. And let me... Uh, it says, test your knowledge with our judges and courts quiz. Okay, I might not know a whole lot. I don't know yet. We'll see. Take quiz. Um, which of these was declared a vegetable by the U.S. Supreme Court? You know, um, apple, egg, tomato, ginger. You know, uh, I, it was a, I don't know if it was on one of these. 
on trivia time or something, but one day it was on Ask My Tablet, which, by the way, send questions in for Ask My Tablet if you'd like to see it again, everybody. Uh, it's been a while, and I just don't have many questions hardly towards the next one. But anyway, uh, yeah, it was on that, and it was about is like is this a vegetable or a fruit or is this a vegetable and we were we were really uh everybody was surprised that a lot of them a lot of the things that we consider vegetables are really fruit you know and it's kind of crazy but anyway uh, and tomato that's that's why to, uh, tomato came to mind for me um so i'm going to say tomato Yes, but I can't believe the Supreme Court would have to say that it was a, a vegetable. Uh, something, uh, 1893, Nix v. Hedden is a, is a decision by the Supreme Court of the United States in which the court held 9-0 to zero that the tomato should be classified as a vegetable rather than a fruit for tariffs, imports, and custom purposes. Judge Horace Grabe delivered the opinion of the court in holding that the Tariff Act of 1883 use the ordinary meaning of the words fruit and vegetable instead of the technical botanical meaning. Okay, 89% figure uh, said uh, tomato. What's the name of the ceremonial mallet used by U.S. judges? Punch, maul, beetle, gavel. You know, isn't that the, isn't, Oh, it says just by U.S. judges. So, yeah, I mean, it's not just like Supreme Court or something. So, I think everybody, a lot of y'all would probably know that it's a, a gavel. Yeah. A gavel is a small ceremonial mallet commonly made of hardwood. What you doing there, kid? You going to lay down? She keeps rubbing by me. Uh, uh, t uh it can be used to call to, for attention or to punctuate rulings and proclamations and is a symbol of the authority and right to act officially in the capacity of a presiding officer. Okay, what is the term for a legal, legal document that initiates a lawsuit in court? Hmm. Okay, mediation, injunction, complaint, appeal. Uh, luckily, I've never had to, to worry about this. <laughs> I mean, uh, a lot of people might have before, but, you know, I watch, uh, like, shows on TV, Law & Order, uh, Judge Judy. You know? <laughs> I mean, well, we hadn't watched Judge Judy in a while. We used to watch her every, every day, pretty much. I, I want to say it's an injunction. No, no, that... Uh, didn't sound right. Complaint didn't sound right. Injunction sounded more official in a way. So I got that one wrong. It's complaint. Filing the complaint is what begins a lawsuit. The complaint is the initial document filed in the court outlining the basis of the lawsuit and the relief the plaintiff would like granted. In other words, how much money she believes that a defendant owes her for the harm cause. <coughs> Okay, which U.S. founding father was the country's first Supreme Court justice? Wow, I'm not for sure about this at all. John Adams, James Madison, John Jay, Alexander Hamilton, uh, first Supreme Court justice. Oh, man, I do not know. I do not know. For some reason, I want to say James Madison. And it's not, it's John Jay. I don't really know that much about him. I'm going to learn something right now. Uh, John Jay was a founding father of the United States who served the new nation in both law and diplomacy. He established important judicial pre precedents as the chief, first chief justice of the United States and negotiated the Jay Treaty of 1794, which settled major grievances with Great Britain and promoted commercial prosperity. Wow. Uh, I don't think anybody knew this that well. Uh, only 38% said John Jay. <laughs> okay, in which city did the U.S. Supreme Court meet for the first time? Oh, no. Baltimore, Chicago, Philadelphia, New York. Okay, for the first time. 
I don't. I want to say Philadelphia. No, it's New York. Okay, the Supreme Court of the United States met for the first time February 1, 1790 in the Royal Exchange Building on New York City's Broad Street. Wow, 1780, 1790? Uh, I didn't even know New York was there yet. <laughs> so I learned something there again. Justices traditionally wear robes of what color while in court? Hmm. White? Brown, black, blue. Well, seems like seems like they're black. Yes. Since at least 1800, it has been traditional for justices to wear black robes while in court. Okay. Uh, in which country is the International Criminal Court located? Hmm. International Criminal Court located. Norway, Netherlands, USA, Switzerland. International Criminal Court. Wow, wow, wow. I want to say, uh, it may be USA, I may be wrong, but I want to say like Switzerland because it was like a neutral country, so maybe that would be the place they would want to do something like that. Just that's just my only thoughts on that, Switzerland. No, but I was on the right, uh, you know. Uh, I was thinking in the right direction because it's Netherlands, and I don't think Netherlands. I don't know if they were involved much in any any of the wars either. Really, I'm not sure. Let's see if it says anything about it. Uh, the International Criminal Court is an intergovernmental organization and international tribunal seated in the Hague, Netherlands. It is the first and only permanent international court with jurisdiction to prosecute individuals for the international crimes of genocide, crimes against humanity, war crimes, and crime of aggression. It doesn't really say much more about it. Okay, so that, that uh, I learned something there again. Which constellation is low, is a, which constellation is associated with the scales of justice? Taurus, Aries, Libra, Leo. Oh my goodness. I'm really not I'm really not sure about this at all. I'm gonna go with Taurus. Nope, it's Libra. I'm getting burnt today. Uh, the link between these stars with scales was reintroduced by the Romans in the first century despite the Romans adopting much of Greek tradition. In, in Roman tradition, Libra was a favored constellation and something about the scales of justice being held by a constellation Virgo. Hmm. Three right and five wrong. But, you know, I, I said before we started, I don't think I knew much about this, but I'm learning some things. Judge Roy Bean is a folk hero in which U.S. state? Oh, and you know what? They had a... Um, a series or something about that had him in it. I can't remember what it was. Uh, Oregon, Pennsylvania, Texas, Mississippi. Okay, um, there's more, much more going on back in the Old West in Texas than any of these others right here. So I'm going to say Texas. Yep, got that right. Uh, born in Kentucky, George Roy Bean found himself in Texas after encountering some, tr encountering some trouble of his own making in both Mexico and California. He opened a saloon, the Jersey Lily, as homage to the beautiful actress Lily Langtree, with whom he was quite smitten. Okay, that's enough. One more. How many Supreme Court justices does the U.S. have? U.S. have five, nine, twelve, seven. I think I know this. I want to say seven. No, nine. Dang. <laughs> I should know that, you know, but I thought it was seven for some reason. The U.S. Supreme Court currently consists of nine members, one chief justice, and eight associate justices. So I ended up with four right and six wrong. I learned a lot. Uh, maybe in the future trivias I'll have something that will help me. I mean, this will help me with. 
But I just, I don't didn't know that much about the judicial system, obviously. Uh, so, anyway, I hope you all enjoyed. It's more of a challenging trivia time this morning. Uh, and I hope you enjoyed morning coffee break. If you did, I hope you'll press that like button. Also, subscribe if you haven't already and share this out. And hit that. So you get all my videos as soon as they come out. Everybody, I hope you have a great morning and a great day. Definitely check out Taste Test with Mike with the Harvest Creek Buffalo Style Chicken later on. Bye, everybody, and God bless.